Hello trusty rusty fan. I'm uh, out here in the middle of a 1948 or something like that uh, Chevy truck and we'll just give you a rundown and show you what we're fixing up and this is a prop one of the projects really cool it's got a, like a clock in it or something in the mirror I've never seen in 1948 I don't know if, obviously that was an aftermarket thing maybe I don't know I'd have to google that one I'm not sure on that one a really cool old radio uh, lots of lots of it's very complete anyways uh, really cool truck really really cool lots of the the horn emblem needs to be cleaned up but I mean it's uh, all there all complete the old single light switches and the gauges and everything and the key switches there I tried a key in it but unfortunately it doesn't it didn't work um, it wasn't for this truck obviously but uh, it fit in it. It was from a 1953 Chevy, and it fit in the hole, and it didn't actually, um, what you call, didn't turn, though. So, there you go. The old girl. It's a five-window truck. It's pretty cool. Uh, give you a bird's-eye view. It's got the old deck on her. It's needing some restoring, some fixing up. I mean, it's old. Uh, I'm going to pound out the grills, and get her back in shape again and tires are like brand new on it or the front ones anyways they look new said Cooper or something so I'm assuming they're newer and uh, it does have a complete motor in it um, it's bolted or is it bolted maybe it's just wired maybe it's just wired yeah it kind of looks like it's just wired maybe we can actually open this for you Give you a bird's eye view. By George, we can. Look at that, he even left the old battery and I don't know if it's any good or not, but looks like I might have a crack, actually. That's probably why he left it in there. Um, but anyways, uh, there, uh, there's the old fuse boxes, carburetors there, the parts are there. Motor looks pretty complete, actually. Um, if we get some keys and things, it might turn over or go. I don't know, we're gonna try, I'm gonna brave the wilderness and try sticking my head underneath this hood. Uh, she seems a little tight in the motor, so that guy's gonna have to put some stuff down and see if he can break it loose. It does seem a little tight from sitting, but that's not saying that you can't get this going, so. Anyhow, now you know the rest of the story. So, 